welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with another two week grocery haul and meal plan. Today I went to Walmart and Dollar Tree. If you come back tomorrow, I will be showing you what I got at Aldi and Kroger. I didn't get much at Walmart and Dollar Tree today, just a few things. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the meal plan and get into the haul. Okay, so this meal plan starts tomorrow, Friday, February 1st. And we've got stroganoff and peas on here. We've got a Cajun chicken pasta and broccoli. And then Sunday is the Super Bowl. So we are actually going to my stepdad's house. He's gonna make chicken wings. My sister's gonna make some sort of something. I don't know, she hasn't decided yet. And I'm gonna make loaded queso in the crock pot. And then we got chicken cheese sticks and fries, a pot roast with carrots, potatoes, onions, and then Andy wants rice with that. Lemon, rosemary, chicken, and couscous, and green beans. A leftover night, spaghetti and garlic bread, and I'm gonna get a spaghetti squash turkey bacon, grilled cheese, and tomato soup, pork carnitas tacos, and Andy specifically requested that they are hard shell tacos, crock pot orange chicken, rice, and broccoli. Um, I'm pretty sure that came from Jen over at Cook, Clean, Repeat. Leftovers, pork parmesan, and for Valentine's Day, I'm gonna make steak, roasted potatoes, and a salad. So today at Walmart, I spent $53. One of the items is in here and it was $16. It's actually in the van. I'll show you guys that on the receipt. I don't want the kids to hear what it is, but if you look right there, that one right there, $15.88. So that's going in with a Valentine's Day present. All right, everything else is pretty much for the meal plan. We've got some honey ham. After trying the Walmart one, that's $3.28. It's so much better than the Kroger one, and it comes in this little container that I can send leftovers home with people and not worry about getting the container back. Then we've got rice vinegar, the creamer that I always get. I went there specifically for this chuck roast at Walmart. It's $4.47 a pound, and when I looked at Kroger, it was like $6.99 or $7.99 a pound for a chuck roast. So I got a almost three pound chuck roast for $12.74, and that's for the pot roast dinner. And I'm actually having my sister and Aunt Janet and my stepdad over for dinner that night. So that's why I got such a large one. Milk, $1.55 a gallon as usual. And then pizza, that's what the kids requested for lunch. Elijah, some pull-ups. Again, they only had one pack, so I will get more tomorrow at Kroger. And then I couldn't pass this up. It's the Pioneer Woman like Barbie kit. And when I saw it marked down to $2, I was like, ah. Oh. She doesn't really need it, but I went ahead and got it for her and she saw it, so I'm gonna give this to her now. And that is everything from Walmart. That is $53. The bulk of it was that meat and that other thing that's in the car still. Okay, and then before Walmart, I went to a Dollar Tree and I spent, what did I spend? $11.34. This is the pizza sauce that we love. Went ahead and picked up two of them. Uh, I saw Madison haul this, Madison Pippins. So I went ahead and picked one of those up to try it. Egg noodles, I pretty much always pick them up there because they're only a dollar. The mac and cheese, we like this, comparable to Velveeta for us. And then the kids have never had these. We used to sell a bunch of these when I worked at Dollar General. And it's a pretty good deal. You get 10 packs of cookies for a dollar. I thought that this would be a good snack for the kids. Paper plates, I like to have these when Andy takes his breakfast in the morning. Um, I don't think he would bring back a plate, so it's just easy to send him with his breakfast on a paper plate, then he'd throw it away. Some of these rich and crisp crackers, because Lily likes those kind. Some saltines, because we were almost out. This little brush I got, and this little wall light. I'm gonna try and see if this works good. I want it for underneath my cabinets. It's always so dark, especially in this corner when I'm trying to film recipe videos. So I'm hoping if it's bright enough, I can like mount a couple of these underneath. But I only bought one for now to see how bright it actually is and if it'll stay mounted up there. That is my Kroger and Dollar Tree haul. Don't forget to come back tomorrow to see everything else for the meal plan. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>